Okay folks, so whilst checking some of my preps, I came across my compass and I noticed it had developed the dreaded bubble and it's a big one as well and this has now rendered this compass almost useless. So I'm going to swap it over with an old one I've got here, I'll swap the housing over itself and completely replace it. So. I think it mostly happens when it's uh, crushed or compressed in your gear or pack and it probably develops a hairline crack and the, the fluid gradually leaks out. Apparently it's a common problem uh, but although I've only ever had it happen to me once in over 30 years of using these these actual compasses themselves. There is a remedy for this and you, apparently other people say use a syringe, look at the seal where they inject the fluid into the, into the compass in the first place, suck out the bubble, re-inject the fluid and seal it over with uh, some sort of super glue. But to be honest, I've got a replacement and I might as well just swap them over myself. Uh, there is other folklores out there that say place the compass on a radiator and the bubble will go away. <laughs> if you're fooled by that then <laughs> it's your own fault because what will happen is the the liquid in there, I think it's oil based, it will make the oil expand, the bubble will get smaller, you think fine, it's gone away, as soon as it cools down again the bubble's back, so that does not work. Even small bu bubbles though will, will be a problem because as you climb in altitude, the bubble will get bigger due to the lack of uh, or a decrease in air pressure, and of course the problem will no doubt be amplified by cold conditions. So, like I say, I'm just going to swap it straight out. So I'm locating the wire, it's just a thin piece of wire that holds this together and I'm just taking it out basically. There it is there, put it to the side a moment and this should just detach. <coughs> That's the old one with the big bubble and I'm going to replace it with me new on there. So let's get this back together. Make sure initially that you set the um, little bracket here. This illuminating part here which is luminous. Make sure you house that at the northern point of the housing. So in other words, it goes there at the top in line with the direction of travel arrow and then we can put, replace the wire. This is a very fiddly task. And this is my fourth attempt now. They're trying to get this bit of wire back in. If anyone else knows any tips out there how to get this back in easily, then put it in the comments because this is close to going out the window. There we go folks, and it's almost 
as good as new. So, don't get complacent about your gear, especially in mission critical or task critical gear. In this case, it might be a simple old compass, but uh, when you actually come to use it, it could have bigger implications. So, check your preps. Until next time, good luck.